Censorship was a major concern of the American public during the interwar period of the 1920s, 30s, and the 1940s. Why should Jewish voices have been involved in the censorship process, you may ask, especially when many of the major studios themselves were owned by American Jews? There are many reasons, but perhaps most surprising, given the ethnic origins of many of the studio executives, was the actual depiction of Jews in American cinema was very unsavory. A letter obtained housed at Hebrew Union College's campus in Cincinnati at the American Jewish Archives located in box 16, folder 18, dated from 1934, from within the correspondences and letters of Rabbi Sidney Goldstein, illustrates why it was important for Jews to be involved in censorship during this period. Rabbi Sidney Goldstein was a leading voice among a special committee established by the Central Conference of American Rabbis, or the CCAR, the principal organization of reform rabbis in the United States and Canada. The special committee created by the CCAR directly addressed American censorship in films and its aims embodied Rabbi Sidney Goldstein and other rabbis' personal desires to more effectively censor these images in cinema. Rabbi Sidney Goldstein's letter retrieved from the American Jewish Archives specifically concerns a film that was set to release in America titled The Wandering Jew. The Wandering Jew had been imported in 1935 by Lowell Incorporated, MGM's parent company, and it was originally distributed in Great Britain by Galmet British Distributors. It had been set for a release date in American theaters for on Yom Kippur as a promotional tie-in. This was a massive and ignorant miscalculation on their behalf. The film was, to the horror of American Jews, dangerous in its depiction of minorities. It oozed with anti-Catholic and anti-Semitic imagery. The opening act featured a lecherous Jew spitting on Christ. Rabbi Sidney Goldstein's letter addresses some of the concerns felt by members of the film committee established by the CCAR. The letter is short and direct, and it reads the following. Since the Wernerville Conference, the chairman of the Social Justice Commission has served as a member of the Interfaith Committee that has dealt with the motion picture problems. He has been in constant conference with both the Catholic and Protestant groups that are organizing the crusade. When the picture known as the Wandering Jew was announced for exhibition in New York for September 14th, the chairman asked for a preview by a group of rabbis in New York. The preview was granted by the Metro Goldwyn Meyer Corporation, and as a result of the protests made by the rabbis, the picture was withdrawn and all contracts were canceled. The chairman has also attended a number of conferences dealing with the problem of the motion picture industry, especially as it is related to the Jewish people. The Social Justice Commission recommends constant cooperation and action with other groups in the crusade to cleanse the motion picture industry. Signed, Rabbi Sidney E. Goldstein. When The Wandering Jew was released in the United Kingdom, Jewish groups in the United States wrote to Joseph Breen and William Hayes, the two leading censors of the era, demanding the film be vetted once it reached American shores. Joseph Breen, who was regularly accused of anti-Semitism himself, recommended to Hayes that Vincent G. Hart, head of the New York branch of the Production Code Administration, or the PCA, responsible for censorship in Hollywood, that they exercise extreme caution should the film be submitted for PCA approval as a foreign film. In Breen's words, as documented in the correspondences between Joseph Breen and William Hayes within the PCA files housed at the Academy of Motion Pictures, I know that you want no approval given on a film that libels any race of people. Lowell Incorporated, the distribution company, and MGM never officially put in an application for approval from the PCA. Had they, it would have been a complicated decision. On one hand, the New York offices of the PCA were ill-inclined to censor any foreign political film. Yet on the other, 
Jewish groups were pressuring them to censor a film that misrepresented Jews. As a result, the film was never played in large cinemas and on a national scale. The concerns raised by Rabbi Sidney Goldstein and the CCAR's committee were heard. The wandering Jew was not welcome in America 